What's up guys, it's Bromley from Empire Barbell and I'm about to show you how to never drop a farmer walk candle again. I'm lucky, I have really long fingers relative to my hands, so I've gotten away with a lot of crap for a lot of years, including having a pretty weak grip. Certain grip events are my weakness. Uh, I do not have the strongest hands out there, but I've been doing farmer walks long enough that I actually do well. I won the farmer walk in my last contest. It was a 315 for a 100 foot sprint. That was one of about half the field at nationals to finish the 740 frame run. So, for a guy that doesn't have a great grip, I do pretty well in these events. Remember, it's strongman gaming the system. It's every bit as important as actually being strong. So real quick, I'm gonna show you what you're doing wrong in the farmer's walk. With grip events, friction management, actually most strongman events, friction management is the most important thing. You need to make sure that the surface that you're working with is sticky and that you don't have slick substances like sweat, oil, or anything else getting on the implement. Farmer walk is no different. So first of all, you never ever assume that the handles are contest ready because they never are. I did a contest last year where the frame handles had oil on them from the shot that they were made in. So I actually learned this tip from uh, Easton Taylor. So thank you, sir. This is a Brillo pad. This is your best friend. Always scrub the handles down. That'll get off any extra oil along with dust, chalk, skin flakes, anything else you don't want coming in between that metal surface and the skin of your hand. On top of that, you gotta worry about your hands. If your hands have any, any uh, extra moisture, or if they're swollen at all with fluid, that moisture is gonna come out as you compress your skin into the handle. So I like to get chalk on my hand about 20 minutes before, and it pulls all of the moisture out of my skin. So at a contest, I'll be dipping my hands in a chalk bucket every five minutes until I'm ready to go. You actually want the extra chalk off your hands the point is to get your hands dry, not to actually have chalk on your hands. I actually recommend looking into a good liquid chalk because most of them are alcohol based as far as I know, and the alcohol will pull the moisture out of your skin. So it dries your hands out a lot faster and makes for a tackier surface. Now, as far as gripping the handles, assuming you've got the handles good, assuming your hands are dry, you wanna get as much skin knotted up in that handle as you can. When I was new, I used to just grab straight down and pull it up like that and I didn't do very well. What I learned after a lot of trial and error is that you have to open your hand up as wide as you can, get the handle right in the webbing of your thumb, and turn your knuckles all the way into your legs. So I got the handle right next to my leg. I'm gonna open my hand up as wide as I can, turn my knuckles in, and I'm trying to get that point by my thumb to bear the weight of the handle. And right there, you can see my wrist is cocked in, As I stand up, my wrist straightens out and it takes all that skin with it. When you grab, this takes all of that extra skin and creates more friction that makes the handle stay in your hands for a lot longer. It hurts like hell, but victory is pain. So from right here, you're gonna push through the ground, hips through, and that's a strong grip. That grip isn't going anywhere. I don't know if you can see, but I got this line right here on my hand. That's actually where I try to get that handle. I try to get the handle to dig in right there. You don't want to just grab right here and let it hang in your fingers. Aim for that thumb, wrap all of it in. Over time, the connective tissue in your hands will get stronger. It won't hurt quite as bad. You'll be able to use heavier weights without crying. But until then, you got to take the pain. <laughs> 